Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to my food farm. Welcome to Plant a Garden TV. Home of the natural. Where we grow everything need the way nature wants us to. Today we're going to talk a little about the pepper plant and the requirements to grow massive pepper plant that produce continuously. So let me walk. This is a monkey face pepper. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to walk around and I'm going to show you how much pepper this tree have on. This is a lot of pepper. And the great thing about it is, they're still pushing out small one. That's the great thing. So now, this pepper is actually, they don't stop produce. They always produce, even right down to the frost. You see, look, look the amount of pepper this thing have on. Nice size pepper, beautiful hot pepper. Look over here as well, as we can see. Look at this, this limb right here. This limb, if you notice, you see it start bending there. So this limb need a stake. Because if you notice, there's a lot of pepper on this plant. And up to the top, we have flowers and we have so much pepper going on on this thing. Over here, when you come over here again, as you see, I stake up this one, loaded with pepper from underneath here, all underneath there. You see, lots of pepper over over here. And if you notice, every plant, every limb loaded with pepper. But if you notice what you're seeing, you still seeing to the top. You still seeing flowers you still seeing small pepper. So, and I ain't even go around there as yet. You still have all around it. So it's just this portion. And look how wide this pepper tree has spread itself. Look how wide it has spread itself. This limb was over here pulling the arrows to stake it up. But look how wide this pepper tree has spread, right? So now let's talk about growing, pe growing pepper. This is, this is a cayenne pepper as well that doing really well at this moment. As you see it pushing out blossom right now everywhere. So now this is also another pepper tree loaded with pepper everywhere and the limbs them just spreading out. That's pepper and you notice they still have blossom going. No, let's talk about pepper for a minute. Growing massive bell pepper, massive pepper tree, whether it's bell pepper or not, right? It doesn't matter. Over here as well, let me go over here. If you notice, you're gonna see these bell pepper tree doing really well uh, also and up to the top. You see in flowers, you see in small pepper. So this is what's going on basically with all the plants them. You know what I'm saying? All the plants them. Nice, beautiful pepper. Same thing goes on with all the plants them. Now, the secret to this is, and guys, I only could speak for a natural garden. I cannot speak for garden that use different type of stuff from the store. I could only speak for a natural garden. Look at this plant here. So much peppers this thing is growing. This thing look like it might grow a hundred peppers. Sometimes I grow, uh, sometimes one of my bell pepper tree have on 30 pepper at the same time. But now what I want to show you guys 
You see this? This is a eight foot bell pepper tree up here. Right? What I want to show you guys now is the secret to grow these massive pepper trees. And not just growing massive bell pepper trees. It's also about the production of growing them. Meaning they never stop produce until the frost. When the frost come, that's when they stop. Because what happened now, the frost gonna dry down their leaf. The frost gonna damage all the flowers that's out there and the young peppers. So sometimes a lot of young peppers go back to the plant, to the soil. Why? Because they was too young. So now, the production of the pepper tree. Number one, number one, you wanna plant them at least six, at least 12 inches deep. This is number one. You want to plant them at least 12 inches deep because the more the pepper push it roots is the bigger it gets and then the taller it gets, it need their roots to be grounded. You see this one right there? If this root wasn't grounded, it would have popped over already. But the root is grounded, right? This one. This is the next one. Their root is grounded in the soil. So it's important to grow them at least 12 inches in the ground. Right? Now, one, a trick to this is bell pepper peppers don't like synthetic fertilizer pepper does not like synthetic fertilizer grow your pepper natural with natural organic matter that's their favorite that's what they love natural organic matter and when you grow them with natural organic matter that's what they love they become stronger because it's important for your pepper limbs to be strong. It's important for the stalk of the pepper to be strong. Do you see the amount of pepper this thing have on? The limb got to be strong. So in order for do that, you feed them with natural organic matter and strengthen the plant, strengthen the root. Allow the plant to strive of its own and produce the way it should. So when you add synthetic, synthetic fertilizer, it actually creating a situation. Peppers love organic matter. Feed them with, let me give you an idea. Every fall, wherever you're going to plant your peppers, you take dry leaf, you take dry grass, whatever you can, and you add it to the soil. Meaning, let me give you an idea. You take this, you take this, and you add it in the raised bed wherever you plant it. Wherever you go in and plant your peppers, you add that to your peppers. While your peppers is growing, in their young season, you come in and you pop off all these big heavy leaves. I'm talking about in them growing season. Right now it's okay. But when they're young, you make sure you pop off all these big heavy leaves. Because this big heavy leaf. The plant is actually feeding them. So if you pop them off, it more focus on the, the, the pushing, developing more roots and more new stem. All right? So these are things you need to do. All right? If you want to grow peppers successfully, doesn't matter whether it's bell pepper, whatever. Grow them natural. If you notice on this bed right here, I'm actually growing pepper in this bed here. But if you, you notice what I've done, right? 
I have this log and you notice I have these grass breaking down right here. Now these are gonna be feeding for next season. You see what I'm saying? So I'm preparing the beds for the pepper now, even though garden seasoning over. Grow your peppers naturally and I guarantee you, you will see more great result in your garden. You wanna start seeing eight foot pepper tree, seven foot pepper tree, six foot pepper tree. Follow these simple step guys and be successful. Peace.